So here we are in the Badlands. I am on a goblin named Absinthe. She's a rogue. Absinthe, named after the drink, the Wormwood drink, Absinthe. Um, which was illegal in the United States for many years. Which the belief is not necessarily the... It, the Wormwood is so minuscule and always has been that it's not been as dangerous as folks said. It was illegal, mostly because folks were making it kind of bootleg and putting all sorts of nasty stuff, so it was causing a lot more damage. Um, I've, I've drank absinthe. Um, it's a lot of fun because of the whole ritual involved. But anyway, she's green. It's a green drink. <laughs> so, that's her name. What's well, That's not the proper spelling of absinthe. It's an S-I-M-T-H-E. R-S-I-M-T-H. Um, <laughs> I should know how to spell this correctly. But, abs yes. It's A-B-S-I-N-T-H-E, so. And mostly because it was already a, someone with the proper spelling of absinthe. The person also, I felt, you know what though, the Z is very fitting for goblins. Now, before you can actually start on the Rhea quest, I think, from my understanding, you have to do this quest first, which is hey, how you doing? easily swayed. Um, you got to go mess with some ogres to the northwest. My cat wants to climb on top. Bunny wants to climb on top of me. She wants a lot of attention. I am currently making tamales. Um, they are frozen. They're from Trader Joe's. They also require steam, which should not surprise me. But um, I don't. I can't find my steamer, so we're not making them that way. Uh, but you can wrap them in, wrap them in a wet paper towel and put them in the microwave. Well, the other problem with that is. Uh, The microwave um, is um, I don't use paper towels as much anymore. I use um, these recycled recyclable cloths, so cut down on my carbon footprint. But I'm able to use one of one of the ones I haven't used for cleaning. It's fresh, it's clean, it's new. It, it, it's perfectly fine to work at it. So you have to microwave it for like four minutes, and they have to let it sit for a bit. And then they will be edible, which I'm going to let them sit for a little bit. They're sitting for a little bit now to cool off because they're very hot. Um, so I have to slay nine dust belcher ogres in Camp Akash. She's level 60, so this sh will not be difficult. Now just remember, I'm in the wrong zone. Shadow Barb Drone um, is from... There's a whole quest line. Cat, stop. There's a whole quest line um, in Oldham 8.3 quest line, the uh, Black Empire Invasions, where you could get a mount and a pet. So this is the mount. So she rides that. So I'm going over here. This should not take long at all. Though I remember when this quest was not available, um, before Kata. Because Fuselite actually did not exist before Kata. Like why Rayo's quest did not exist before Kata. In fact, Arleia ended up to get the quest to kind of complete the storyline fairly recently went back to get the Rayo's egg. I had done that quest on other characters. But she hadn't because she had already cleared Badlands. She had cleared Badlands before Kata. She had done all that level, all the Avalon stuff. She's, she has Explorer, she has um, Lore Master. She got that all prior to Kata. So. <sighs> What'd she do that for? Seven. I mean, I'm saying seven. Seven is um, where she has her her poison knight, which is the only ranged attack assassins have, but it's useful. I mean, Phantom Nice is technically ranged, but not that ranged. Okay. Wow. Oh. 
on me. What are you doing, my girl? She's literally in front of my face. Are there ogres in there? Can I kill them? Hey, ogres, can I kill you? Yeah, as long as I find some more soon, this yeah, I'll be done with this part of the quest. I mean, I'm doing like a million damage. Um, nothing to brag about. She's twice the level of anything in this area. And there we go. I was like, are you really going to pick a fight with me? I advise against it. I mean, the upside is her button layout is exactly as our layout, so stuff is going to be intuitive. The downside is there are skills she doesn't have yet <laughs> because she's only level 60. But it's fine. She's not going to need any of them. Uh, though I might take her into... Um, I might take her into Dragon Soul uh, just to start that quest. What up? And by that I mean Fangs of the Father, because I do plan on taking her through the Fangs of the Father. But today I only, I'm, I'm going to start that, but I'm not going to, I think you have to wait 24 hours anyway <laughs> for that one. For the, it's like a part of that quest where you have to wait for a ring to charge for 12 hours or something ridiculous like that. Um, this cat wants to stand, oh no, she wants to go next to me. You couldn't go the other way. You had to walk across me twice. She's now going back over again. I I don't know what her deal is today. I don't know. It's a good thing, like, I'm not on camera because she would be watching this, and it would be very amusing. Um, or maybe that's a bad thing. Anyway. Easily swayed. I wonder where all the where all these ogre magi are coming from. Curious times indeed. I'm going to say they're part of Twilight Hammer. Just a hunch. Uh, given that we are now in Cataland. Complete quest. Keep it real. A strange quest. Okay, here we go. On to other matters. I have a package that I need delivered. A young lady came by our town not long ago looking for compressed blasting powder, a tempered mithril bomb casing, and some safety goggles. Naturally, we have plenty of, naturally, we have plenty of blasting powder and bomb casings to sell her, because the goblins. But the safety goggles were a little hard to come by, because the goblins use safety goggles? No, that's a gnome thing. Um, long story short, I've got the goggles, but she's already returned to her studies down in Lethiora Ravine. Will you bring these down to her? Bring Dolph's package to Rhea at Little Ravine in the Badlands. You will receive five gold. Woohoo! Trying to experience 28. Waha! Safety goggles. Which I've already learned. Accept. Have a good one. So, ignoring all, all, the, all of the quests in the area, I did open up the flight. Yes, I have the flight path for this. I mean, not that I'll be back here any time soon. Well, I, there is one additional quest I am going to do in this area outside of the whole Rhea's egg thing. And that's... I have to do the day Deathwing came. Um, I mean, I feel it's appropriate to, to have the quest where you punch Deathwing in the face. <laughs> As a theme. So let's go find Rhea. Black Whelping. Old dragon models. Old dragon models. Black dragon. Black dragon. Black dragon. And keep in mind, in this... In current times, none of them are alive anymore. They're all gone. Black dragon egg. Uh, what you doing here? And another reason why I just I do have I have a total of three rogues: Arleia, the night elf, um, Absinthe, who's a goblin, and I have a Vul Vulpira, um, who's a Vulpira. Uh, 
whose name I cannot remember at the moment, but anyway. I considered bringing them, but decided against it. Uh, I figured, especially since Raya's a goblin of sorts, I would, um, for now, meet her as a goblin. To see if there's any extra dialogue, but I don't think so. I think it's just pretty much the same. There are some plans on the table. Let's take a look at those. I don't think, I think they're just reused stuff. Uh, loop-de-loop. -loop. Oh, I, I mean, like, I don't. This might actually be something to do with uh, this too, leaving. Um, to get to Fuse Light, the Goblin Town we were just in, uh, there is a, a breadcrumb from Light's Hope Chapel. I think after you do the whole cart with. Um, oh, I'm going to see if actually I could see it on this map. I may have already done it on Absinthe. Oh, wait, now here. There we go. Yes, but I think you have to pick it up in Western Plaguelands. Um, Gidwin Goldbraids. There's a whole cart quest where you follow with the. There's a Worgen. Um, she's currently in, in Dragonflight, too. Um, Gidwin Goldbraids is a dwarf, and there's a Blood Elf. They're paladins. So, kind of like on like a paladin quest that kind of it's very much based on the legolas uh gimli rivalry to a certain extent and that they become besties it's definitely based on that um so yeah it, it's but with with the uh the warden being kind of like their surrogate mom and guiding them along and that's a whole quest for the whole eastern plague lands zone uh, not east western plague land zone Like all throughout it, and then it ends at Light's Hope Chapel. And there, there's a goblin at some point that agrees to send you to Fuse Light on a rocket. So you take the rocket and it shoots you up in the air and shoots you right to Fuse Light, and then you can begin the quest there. Which is weird because it means the Badlands quest begins after Western Plaguelands, but I think this area in. in Kata was higher level than. Western Plaguelands, uh, if I recall correctly. So it would have been the ne one of the next areas you go to. Um, or just Fuse Light as a new area in the zone, because it wasn't there before. I vaguely remember what things were like. I mean, I could always just open up Classic and look. But, and I might do that just for reference, but as of Kata, this area has been changed. If you did the pre-patch for Dragonflight, you were in this, you were probably in this area often, if you were doing the, the, the Primal Storms. Um, but probably not, never came over this far. But you could have done this quest then. Maybe that might be one of the reasons, well, one of two reasons why this area was selected for one of the Primal Storms. One, if you wanted to do this quest line, you could have. But also, Alderman Legacy of Tear, as opposed to the original Alderman, Alderman Legacy of Tear, is a new dungeon for this expansion. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting, this area. Um, she's explored it a bit, I can tell. She's she's opened up the flight points. She may have done the day, doesn't, no, she wouldn't have. Um, I don't think she went that far. But we'll, we will pick that up. There is a horde zone here. Oh, can you pick it up? If you're not Alliance. Well, yeah, there's an orc involved there, so there must be a, a quest you can pick up in these other areas. So, I haven't done a horde side in a while, so we'll see. Um, this quest is not does it, is not faction dependent, but those other ones might be, but I don't think the day Deathwing died is Alliance only. Because I do want to do that, because I, I, I love doing that one. So let's see. A strange request. Greetings! Ah, uh, you found me. Good. Continue. Thank you, Goblin. You may keep the goggles as they have already served their purpose. They brought you to me. Oh, that's interesting. Alluring leggings. 
You'll also receive... Blah, blah, blah. None of this is useful to pay for that. Oh, I got an upgrade! Woohoo! <laughs> First sample, wild eggs. First sample, wild eggs. I am experimenting with black dragons. I am experimenting with black dragons. Specifically, I'm interested in how they procreate. My current experiments require plenty of black dragon eggs, which is why I'm here in Lethior Lethe Say that ten times real fast. I'd gather the eggs myself. I'd gather the eggs myself. But I think you'll benefit from helping me out. You will find them along the edges of the ravine. Beware the guardians that circle above. They do not appreciate stolen eggs. Obtain six wild black dragon eggs. That's one quest. Second sample. Whelps. I need another favor from you. I need you to obtain the bodies of the black dragon whelplings that fly nearby. Slay them and bring their corpses to me. Obtain ten scalding whelp corpses. So you're going to steal a bunch of wild dragon eggs. There's one right there. And then kill these little guys... 10 of them to bring their corpses back. Sounds good. Let's go do that. Nothing morally questionable about this. Nothing at all. Nothing to worry about. Also, I should mention she is a leather crafter, which means will she be able to skin any dragons? We'll find out right now as she's attacked by... Well, there we go. Here's one. Skinnable. So let's just make this crime worse and skin the dragons. I'll just... Hi, little corpse. This is also skinnable. I can skin it after I kill it. Yeah, it's just, you know, and if you're playing through this as the leather crafter, um, you're doing that too. Arleia Alchemist, so her, her big crime is, um, I'm about to get attacked by another dragon. She just makes potions, which don't rely on killing, rely on genocide. But absence going to be a little genocide-y. I'm just collecting the eggs to avoid killing more at this point, though I have to kill ten baby dragons. It's not cool, man. I need to get closer. Just a little just a little genocide in the Badlands today. Sorry. I mean, I could go invisible and then never have to kill you. I'd feel slightly better about that. But, um, I can't kill. I've got all the wild dragon eggs. Oh, and if you think this quest doesn't get worse, <laughs> it's about to. But I have, I have uh, seven more baby dragons to kill. Seven more little whelps. You know, like the whelps that fly around the ruby life pools. them. Playing and having a good time where you make a little little duck toy for a red one. I don't Did have I skin it? I have to make sure I skin it. It's so messed up. <laughs> and at the time, didn't think twice about it because black dragons are bad. Black dragons are bad. Black dragons are always bad. There's nothing redeeming about them. They're all bad. They're corrupted. They must die. There's nothing good about them. They all must die. There's nothing good about black dragons. Did I 
make, I'm checking to make sure his I skinned it. I need a target. Just a little genocide today. Yep. I don't have a target. <sighs> Ten little baby dragon bodies. Ten and I know a little bit more about where this quest is going to. You're killing ten baby dragons to get their bodies, because Rhea believes this is going... She, she hasn't actually told you what she's trying to do. I need to target something first. She hasn't told you what she's trying to do. So, to the best of your knowledge, she's just experimenting on black dragon eggs. Or black dragons. Which itself is hella dodgy. Um... Even all things considered. Oh, I didn't skin this one. Let me make sure to skin that. <gasps> I have to make sure to skin that. It's. I think it's just someone else in the zone doing this. Yeah, let me let me sure to skin skin these black dragons. You know, because I haven't I haven't committed enough atrocities today. Not enough atrocities. I mean, it's dodgy as heck. And part of you is like, well, she's a goblin. Goblins, you know, at least especially back then, um, they, they were morally dodgy for reasons that may or may have not been like racist. But this is not just a normal gobliny trying to profit off of something that's probably terrible. Uh, first sample, wild eggs. Have you brought the eggs? Yes. Continue. Thanks for gathering these so quickly. Send them. Second sample. Whelps, low level. <laughs> Have you done as I asked? Yeah! Killed those ten baby dragons for you and brought their corpses back, just like you asked. This grisly task was necessary, Absent. All will be revealed to you soon. For how? For now, know this. I am no ordinary goblin. I serve a mistress of unimaginable power, and her motives here are not as dark as they might seem. Well, it still feels a little genocide to me. Um, and, and war crime, and atrocities, and just bad stuff complete quest. The black dragon flight was once noble. They were the earth waters protecting the very land itself. How ironic that they would become the worst menace this land has known. I believe there, are rema there remains a sliver of hope. Hope. Why are you still here? Hope. However, how I, re I believe there remains a sliver of hope, however. And so does my mistress. The black dragon fight will live beyond Deathwing's treachery and will soar as the noble earth waters once again. I wish to show you something. Close your eyes and I will reveal to you the final part of my studies. Witness the final piece of Rhea's studies. Zoom out. Accept. I will now remove the fog from your eyes. Behold, our captive. Sandra. A dragon or a black dragon. Lifting the veil. Greetings. You will find a shred of good within these dragons, Abzin, whether it is in the wild eggs you found, the bodies of the whelplings you slew, or the eggs that we have encouraged Nixandra to lay. Encouraged? Nixandra, to lay, you will find untainted, you will find an untainted black dragon. Nixandra, encouraged, how did they encourage her to lay those eggs? How? 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 There's nothing right about this. <laughs> There's nothing right about this. It's effed up. 
as a human rogue. I have a feeling this human rogue might be doing the same thing I'm doing. So, complete quest. They move on to the next part of this quest. Third sample, implanted eggs. Alexandra is being held against her will. <sighs> she is hidden from her brood right in the middle of their breeding grounds. This is like breeding grounds is the badlands. She lays eggs, but they will be taken away before she can see them hatch. <sighs> Cruel? A little bit? Perhaps. Hell yes but not nearly as cruel as the treatment that her dragonflight showed my mistress. Now, if you don't know who her mistress is by this point, little history. Little history. I will get to that in a moment. Show me that I can trust you, Absinthe. Take Nixandra's eggs and bring them here. You will need to beat Nixandra into submission before you can take them. Obtain three of Nixandra's eggs. Well, I mean, if I try to beat her, I'm going to kill her. Because I'm way overpowered. But I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to go into that history. take so long. So you're getting three of her eggs. You're stealing three of her eggs that she was forced to lay as a captive. And there's a bunch of other eggs there too that you're just going to ignore. So you're selecting three random eggs. Bring them back to Rhea. Implanted eggs. Remember, Absinthe, this is for the good of the Black Dragon Flight. We are here to redeem them, not to hurt them. This is but a step in their recovery. It's still dodgy as hell! <laughs> It's super messed up, but okay, let's continue. You have done everything I have asked you without question. Seems to be my lot in life. Our job here in Lethior Ravine is done. It's now time I revealed everything to you. You'll receive a best I can't use. And I got an upgrade! Woohoo! As hinted earlier, I am no ordinary goblin. You may have already guessed my true identity. Allow you, allow me to show you my true form, as you have proven yourself trustworthy, and I will also share with you the details of my plan. Learn Rhea's true identity. Deathwing's madness overcomes him, and we, the Red Dragons, must take this opportunity to reveal the Black Dragon. Okay. Hi, Rhea's Trouser. So she's a red dragon. Um, let me finish reading that. And we, the red dragons, must take this opportunity to steal his black dragons from beneath him. We will, rem we will remain the black dragon. We will remake the black dragons as they were intended to be the waters of the earth. And it still don't feel right. It still don't feel right. Don't feel right. It don't feel right. Um... This is not good. This is very bad. Now, what did she mean by her mistress? Well, if you don't know much about Warcraft lore, going back to real-time strategy, not World of Warcraft, Alex Straza was kidnapped by the Bad Ward back then with Deathwing's help. Um, to basically be forced to breed and give birth to dragons that they would use in fights. So if you play uh, Warcraft 2, which is where you see them, um, each both factions have, they love, they build their forces at a point in the game, they, have, they get flying capability, flying, flying forces to attack the other side. 
Alliance gets griffins, so they, they make friends. They get close with the, uh... <laughs> Let's see. The flying dwarves. Uh, the, uh, this is so bad. Uh, you know, um, God. Berdrin and that whole bunch. The, um... They're one of the three hammers now, and I just can't remember them offhand. But anyway, they get access to those. They're, they're friendly alliance, no coercion. The Horde gets dragons by capturing and imprisoning Alexstrasza and forcing her to give birth and then forcing her young into submission to kill the whole life flight to kill the opposing faction under threat that they'll kill her. So, like, she's basically blackmail... uses blackmail against the other red dragons, plus being forced to breed and her young being used. It's terrible. It is arguably worse, yes, than what is going on right here. Which is a dragon imprisoned being forced to lay eggs. But will that will be used to save their flight? I don't know. But okay, let's continue. <laughs> My true name is Rhea Straza, and I am an envoy of Alex Straza herself, the aspect of the Red Dragonflight. With Jethwin currently occupied with other matters, we're going to find a way to redeem the Black Dragonflight. And you are going to help us. Okie dokie. The Venerable Dr. Blam. Um, I made a calculated decision in revealing my identity to you, Absinthe. I need you to trust me, but I can no longer stay here and let the orb ravine, as my cover has quite clearly been blown. You may be able to slip away unnoticed, however. Sorry, I do live in New York City. We have traffic. Here, take the results of our research and bring them west. At Agman's end, you will find a gnome who knows what to do with these samples. Hurry, Absinthe. You mustn't loiter. You mustn't loiter here any any longer than necessary. Bring the black dragon samples to Dr. Hieronymus Blam at Eggman's End in the Badlands. Accept. Let's go to Eggman's Eggmanimus Hieronymus Blam. There he is. And thankfully, there is a Horde flight point nearby. So all this, like, seared stuff here, that's all Deathwing's doing. This was Cataclysm. Oh, God. This quest. I have to do that. Because he can't help you until... Well, let me just make sure, because I know I have a flight point nearby. I grabbed that flight point. I have that flight point? Yes, I have that flight point. Okay, that's all I'm just checking. The reliquary is there. This has been the reliquary and the, uh, the alliance equivalent were not friendly. Like, they are in Dragonflight. Hey! Dr. H. Blam at your service. How can I be of assistance to you today? Well, I got this bag, ten bag, this bag of ten dead whelps, you know, three implanted eggs and uh, a whole bunch of wild dragon eggs. What kind of can you help me? You have a great day now. Ooh, science stuff. Let's see what you got here. Wild eggs, blech, useless. So all the wild eggs you collected are useless. These are never gonna be good. Ooh, what's this? Some sort of pre-engineered egg? This looks promising. But I don't want to know what Raya had to do to get it. Hmm. Yes, some very nice corpses. Very nice indeed. All right, I see what I'll see what I can do. Nice corpses, very nice indeed. The wild eggs are useless, so they just get thrown out. Why not? Dead dragons, dead dragon eggs, pre-engineered eggs. All right. Alrighty then. Trogish troubles. I need some time to analyze these samples as well as a break from this trog shooting duty. Go man one of the, my turrets and take it as many trogs as you can. I'll be here studying. The turrets have two abilities. A regular shot 
as well as an electrical overload um, for when too many enemies get close. Hey, 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 quick bug. Oh, and look out for the big slow chugs. I don't know why I just switched voices. You probably don't want to let them anywhere near you. Enter a blam turret and survive four waves of trog attacks. Be seeing you. you know, to take your mind off of the um, genocide and the um, slaughter of baby dragons you just engaged in. So, you hop on one of these. You have to survive waves, so it's kind of related to numbers of drugs. Which are not related to your uh, level. I don't think I've ever failed this one, so it's not like it's failable. Plus, you could hit two at once. Well, knows you have to see their nameplates before you can shoot them or just work. <sighs> Survive the first wave. Awesome. Um, so, yeah. You stole a bunch of eggs that were useless. I forget how many you stole. Um... Killed ten baby whelps. Ten baby dragons. And those are interesting. Those corpses are interesting. But he's now stabbing you. And then the infused eggs, which they implanted them in her? So I'm not sure where they got those eggs from. That's a little weird. Um, they, I don't think they ever quite explain the infused egg part. Like, they implanted the eggs in her. Which itself is just gross. Let's be honest. You know, I mean, they have her as a prisoner. She's clearly unwilling, unconsenting. It's kind of gross. Um, worse than what was done to Alexstrasza. Given, really, in a matter of sheer volume, yes. Because it went on for a long time. Third wave. As you can tell, these waves are getting worse as they go, but it's it's not really all that difficult. Um, except when they... Just... requires a little bit more brain power. Because sometimes you can't take them all out in one shot. I'm trying to see how long I can go without using the... Yeah, they have to be really close to use that. So I probably should have... I survived final waves. I didn't even need to use it. Hey. Alright. And done. So, just the sheer amount of... Uh, eggs that Alexstrasza had to lay. Definitely no consent there. I would say that was maybe perhaps slightly worse. But in terms of imprisoning someone and making them lay eggs and stealing their young, it's the same. Infusing eggs and then putting them in her? Also not great. I mean, where the original eggs come from? And what did they infuse them with? But let's see. Can I help you? The results are in. I have identified traces of corruption in all three samples you brought to me. Rayo will be quite disappointed. So all of the eggs that you stole from her that were implanted all had traces of corruption. Complete quest. Off and away. I've got an idea. But it's a bit of a long shot. 
Thankfully, long shots happen to be a specialty of my weight. Come back. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Thankfully, long shots happen to be a specialty of mine. North of here, the reliquary has uncovered a new set of titan ruins beneath the sands. If there's anything older and wiser than dragons, it's titans. It's titans? Heck. I've heard rumors that the titans created the dragons. Let's pause on that a second. Now, it could be created from the proto-drakes. Um, we know that's part of the history. Oh, it's all, you know. Talk to the High Examiner Tethalon, te Tethalon, Tethalon, Blood Watcher at their camp to the northeast. He'll have more information than I do about these titans. What did I tell you? It's a long shot. Speak with High Examiner Tethalon, Blood Watcher at Blood Watcher Point in the Badlands. I forget Alliance side. I know you're not friends with the uh, reliquary, but I think you get to talk to the explorers. They're nearby too. Um, you have a great day now. Alrighty then. Look, look at us—a goblin and a gnome working together to, like, do unspeakable things. Oh, there's an outhouse back here. What's back here? What the hell? What is going? Okay, I guess something was up with that bathroom. All right. <laughs> Don't want to know. Don't want to know what is going on here because it is messed up. It's so messed up. I don't want to know. So yes, uh, not Fuse Light. There is a... I guess it's over here. Um, but thankfully, the Blood Elves are, are closer. The eternal sun guides us. If you're not here to work, then please see yourself away from our excavation. Blood Watcher Point, the level. Remember the sun well. Titans? You come to me asking about Titans? You've come to the right place. As we're on the brink of discovering something big, you will, however, need to earn your keep first. Keep your wits about you. It's not about history, it's about power. The Explorers League, that's right, the Explorers League. They have a human's knowledge of actual active digging. What they lack, however, is a good sense to use the artifacts that they dig up. They stow their treasures in stagnant museums instead of using those items of power for their true purpose. The dwarves are fools. Fortunately, they die easily. You will find them digging into the canyon walls north of here. Take whatever you can out of their stubby frigate hands. Turn to me. Obtain a broken chalice, a dusty vase, Earth and hieroglyph, and a trunk. We will have justice. And of course, you imagine Alliance side as you're beating up on, on, on Blood Elf. So, I'm gonna have to find dwarves around here. Oh, too far away. Oh good, there's two near each other over here. <laughs> oh, at least they dropped some. I'm out of range. Not anymore. Stu base. Killed them too fast, the problem. There we go. Did I do everything I need to do here? I think so. Let's go back now. Tomb of the Watchers. 
the dark times will pass. Farewell. Chalice of Worthless. They use counterfeit. Hieroglyph. Interesting, but rather common. What's this? I've never seen Trog across the Swift's caliber. You stumbled upon something rare indeed, Absent. You must not be so hasty to overlook the Trogs. They may be simple, but they know things from the deep, hidden places of the world. You've performed well enough. Let's talk tight, shall we? Shirella Ron. If you're not here to work, okay, sorry. The Warden's Pawn. The Reckoning is at hand. One of the few items of worth that we managed to loot from these ruins is this small jade statue. We believe it is a key of some sort, but we're unable to determine what it opens. As such, it's useless to me. Perhaps you'll have better luck with it. Find use for the Warden's Pawn within the Tomb of the Watchers in the Badlands. Remember the Sunwell. If you're not here to work, then okay, we keep reading that. The Sentinel's Pawn. We will have justice. We found the small red statue on the corpse of one of those Explorer League's Arche Arche Explorers League archaeologists. Sadly, it wasn't us who killed him. The local wildlife had already taken care of that. The statue is well crafted, but apparently bereft of magical power. You may use it for whatever means you deem necessary. Find a use for the Sentinel's Pond within the Tomb of the Watchers in the Badlands. So we're going into that Tomb, it looks like. Tomb of the Watchers. Okay. Sentinel. Clearly quite old, the statue does not appear to have crumbled at all over the centuries. What about you? The sulking statue stands inert, untouched for centuries. Yep. Alright. So where do we go? Which direction first? Let's go this way. Ah, oh, looks a little tighty, doesn't it? Just a touch tighty. What's this? An inconspicuous, <laughs> inconspicuous marble slab. The statue slides into place on the cold marble slab. Ah. The Sentinel's Game. As you place the statue in its place, several other stone statues appear in the room. The more ruby colored statues also one more ruby colored statue also appears in a small enclosure at the far end of the room. You hear a voice. The sentinel watches. The sentinel protects. The sentinel's vision never falters. That red statue on the other end of the room looks important. Perhaps you should try to connect the two red statues. I think I will. The one I need to connect it to is over here, just so we see. So it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. Well, that's not helpful. Let's see. All I remember is it's not what you think it is <laughs> when you start. Apparently I have to go forward. Let's go forward then. Right, there's 
there is another puzzle in here. Oh, they're still quiet. So, wait, what? What? All right. Okay, you have to go around here. There's nothing in here to kill you, so it's not like you have to keep fighting things back at, at the very least. Here's another slap. Oh, this one. Uh. <laughs> I remember this one. The Warden's Pawn. The statue is placed in the large stone tower. So. You see the statues split into two, then four, then eight identical statues in square formation. You hear a voice. Yes. A true warden does not face outward, searching for signs of danger. A true ward warden keeps his game inward. He's inward. Always focused on protecting his quarry. Perhaps this is a riddle of some sort. I think it is. Alright, so. If you haven't guessed, you have to arrange these guys so they all face inward. It can be a pain in the butt. You can move them that way. Whoops. Let me try to position myself right here. Oh, how annoying. Okay. I was hoping to kind of do this without having to move around, but move you back. Actually, that one needs to be there. Wait. I'm gonna... These two are in the right position. Move you. Oh, I hope I get this right. Come on! I don't know why. And then move him. This should do it. Yep. The jade statue becomes one, becomes one again, and you're you place it in your pocket. You hear a shifting noise in the tomb central chamber. You heard a good amount of rumbling in the tomb central chamber. Those two statues did look awfully suspicious. Oh no! I hope I don't have to fight them. I didn't expect that at all. I really hope not. That would be terrible. Right. Place the palm in the indentation. Oh, he's green. Oh, and you're dead. <laughs> Sorry. Same as before. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Not hustle, not hustle, not hustle, not hustle, not hostile. Not hostile. Hostile. Dead. Ancient protectors. With their inspections complete, the statues return to their original positions. Something seems different in the room, however. The Titan's Trove. As the second defender falls to the ground, a chest appears in the back of the chamber. Could this be what they were protecting? Investigate the Trove of the Watchers. Where's the back of the chamber? Oh, this way. I'm a hero of Azeroth. You can't expect me to know directions. All right, here's the trove. Peer into the chest. 
Oh. Return to blimp. Inside the chest, you find a small circular device resting upon a cushion. If there are any Titan artifacts to be found here in this tomb, this is it. You resolve to bring it back to Dr. Blam. Bring the Eye of the Watchers to Dr. Hieronymus Bland at Agman's End in the Badlands. X. Okay. So you now have in your hands a Titan artifact that you're bringing to Dr. Blam, who's got those black dragon whelp corpses and those infused eggs which have some sign of corruption and all the wild eggs he found were useless. So we got a bunch of baby dragon corpses, three infused eggs, and now we got a titan artifact. Whatever are we going to do with them? Here are the eggs. Let's look at them. Wild black dragon egg. The black rat. Nixandra's egg. Oh, wild black dragon egg looks a little different. Nixandra's egg. Just, let's just take a look at this egg now. Let's look at this egg. Okay. Okay, Dr. Hanumas Blam. Pleased to meet you. Well, how's our long shot paid off? Off and away. Just one tiny little device? I never did understand those titans very well. Let's see what this peeper can do. Be seeing you. Hey, look, it's flying. Ruta protocol completed. Objective identified. Scanning. Anomaly detected. Probable source. A Zerath in the Old Guard attempting to excise anomaly. Anomaly excised. Repeating sub protocol. Anomaly excised. Repeating sub protocol. Anomaly excised. Reassembling remaining material. Viable subject compiled. No anomalies detected. User objected. Protocol complete. Stasis protocol enabled. Way to go. You just flew away. Bye! Bye, Eye of the Watchers. Where are you going, Eye of the Watchers? Where? Where? I think it, I don't know where it went. Purified black dragon egg. I'm gonna take take a screenshot next. I'm gonna take a selfie with it. <laughs> priorities. I'm gonna take a priorities with this purified black dragon egg. Well, I don't have I don't have myself. Oh no, I do have myself a camera. I know about those because she takes selfies all the time. This character. Look. I'm a little too, too close, perhaps. Bad shot. Okay, let me get out of here. Let's stand over here. Maybe she could do it this way. There we go. Purify black dragon egg. For posterity, in case it comes up again. Need assistance? New cargo. Dr. Blam stares at the egg in awed silence, blinks a few times, and looks up at you. D -d -d Not that much taller than him. I'm a goblin. D did you see that? Incredible. My Titan thing idea worked. <laughs> With your help, of course. We'll want to get these back to Rhea. She's not at Lethior Lef Ravine anymore. <laughs> It sounds like she flew her cover when she transformed into her yeah, she told me this, into her true form in front of all those whelps. She's now, nice Nora left some alive, she's now in the west, saying, staying at a large horde establishment dubbed New Karga. She'll be waiting for you, and for that egg. Bring the purified black egg to Rhea and New Karga in the Badlands. Off and away! Purify black dragon egg. Aw. Hi. You're going to be a pain in my ass later. Oh, sorry. Spoilers. <clears throat> <laughs> Let's go find Rhea. Now, of course, um, Alliance 
is in a different area. This is the big scar. Deathwing left. Scar of the Worldbreaker. That's Deathwing, in case you didn't know. Neltharian. Factors heavily in the current expansion. Yes, he does. Uh, let's see. This is where the Alliance is. We're just going to fly over that. I'm going to just open up this area for the heck of it. Oh no, there's an elite there. I'm just trying to camp cat. Okay. I just wanted to open up the rest of the balance. It's not all the areas because this area up here, but I didn't I didn't like that part of the map not being covered. So here we go to New Cargo. Now I'm going to stick only Draconids, black dragonids. Um, I'm going to stick only to the quest and not take the other ones except for the Day Death of King. So let me actually look over here. Who's got that Victory quest? Lies ahead. Survival down, down to the scar, I believe, is it? Keep your wits about you. The Badlands are home to some unusual people, many of whom you have, who have been here for quite a long time. For example, there were three gentlemen who were staying here in town. I forget their names. The dwarf was Vildoran, I believe. Anyhow, they headed south with a pack full of ale a couple of days ago and haven't been heard from since. I think they were headed to that big scar. Would you mind checking in on them? I'd like to make sure they're all right. So we are going to go there. Here's Freya. I'm going to leave her here for a moment. And we're going to take a little side quest into the day Deathwing came. Because I will never do this. Ugh. Demur I'm not Alliance. They will kill me. Because we're not friendly yet. And... This is a relatively short quest, but... It's a fun one, and I love it, and I will do it every time. All right. So we have... Well, it's particularly easy because I'm so overleveled, but... So we have Veldrin the Lost, Martek the Exiled, and Lucien Tosselwrench. We have a gnome, an orc, and a dwarf. All right. You got my attention? Watch your back. They sent you to check up on us. Psst. I've been around this de I'm not gonna do this <laughs> been around this desert longer than any of the those chumps. We're just soaking in some of the scenery and telling stories about old times. You like telling stories? Off with you. Deathwing made quite a mess when he passed through these parts. If it weren't for me, he'd probably still be here laying waste to all the good people of the Badlands. What? You don't believe me? Fine. Let me tell you the whole story. Listen to Veldrin's tale. Excellent. See you soon. I remember it well. It was a bright, shiny day. I was just minding my abuses, and all of a sudden, Deathwing appeared. I said to myself, I'm going to punch that dragon in the face. Fortunately, Cataclysm knocked loose a bunch of angry elementals. You dang blasted ro okay, rock elementals. I'll punch you too. All right. Let's punch. Let's punch some. Punch. Punch. Take that, dangerous enemy. Punch. Punch. Get punched. Take my, taste my fist. Get how many of these I have to, I have to make sure I hit five of them. There we go. Taste my fist. 
Can I? Yeah, I can scroll out a little bit. I mean, I think he's like my level, so he's not. Oh no, he's not. He's level thirty. It's like why he should be pulling aggro, but he's not. Take a shortcut. Oh, there's so many in here. Get punched! I'm coming for your Deathwing. I'm still doing it. Suppose I am Scottish Heritage. I should be allowed. To, I, I was not raised. Now do it in the lost. I'm coming for your Deathwing. Why is he gray? Hey, Nilfi, you're not looking so good. But let's take a look at this. Because they've showed you his new armor, right? So let's look at him. The height of Deathwing. He's got these little spiky things out. He's got the middle jaw. Because he's all sorts of effed up right now. Um, his boots are claws, like dragon feet. So let's look at his model. I don't think he attacks you. Like, he literally just stands there. Hey, Deathwing, how you doing? How you doing? What's up? The armor's broken, too. Then he's like, I don't care, I'm effing Deathwing. So let's punch Deathwing in the face. <laughs> there, he punched Deathwing in the face. All right. Great to meet you. You're looking for me, Ethan? Safe travels. Some story, huh? Now you know why Deathwing hasn't come back here since. Off with you. No, no, Delther, and you're telling the story wrong. Salutations. Got to try some of this beer. <laughs> the day that Deathwing came, the real story. Right. Not only was Delder's story wrong, it was boring, unimaginative, and slow. I'll tell you how things really happened on that day. Listen to Lucian Tusslewrench's version of the story. First of all, it wasn't sunny out, it was cloudy when Deathwing appeared. The cowardly dragon must have seen me because he turned away and flew into the clouds. I'll find you in those clouds, you worm, I yelled, and then throw you to Kalimdor. Luckily, I've been tinkering my world's shrinking device. I decided to keep shrinking the world. I decided to keep shrinking the world until I could reach the clouds. Shrink the world. Shrink the world. Shrink the world. Glitch, is he shrinking the world or is he growing bigger? I, I don't know. Once the world was small enough, can it get bigger? Nope. Once the world was small enough, I started to hunt for Deathwing in the clouds. So now I have to find clouds. So I don't know if this is any faster, but then, then whatever his name there. So when you see these clouds, where are you at? There's like these little puff, these little puffs, these little puffs here. Oh, I can't stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. All right. So you gotta punch. The, you gotta. Lucy ain't gonna get you. Punch that. Where are you, dragon? Oh, there's no one over there. I see two bullets. I need two more. Don't step on Dr. Blam while you're over here. You can't have gone far. I searched every cloud, but I couldn't find Deathwing. Then I realized he was hiding in the sun. I looked up. <laughs> what? If I got my hands around his slimy neck, I summoned all my straight faced west and threw him to Calibdor. It's ridiculous. Pleased to meet you. Be seeing you. The end. No moral. Off and away. Well, Lucien, you need to stop drinking right now! McGraw. What brings you to a bunch of old, washed-up desert dogs like us? But 
death. The day Deathwing came, what really happened? For the horde. Those two have no idea how to tell a story. Veldrin's story was too short, and Lucian's tale was a little too tall, if you catch my drift. Should I do an orc voice? Also, neither of their stories had action, and fans admiring my awesomeness and my... Sit, sit back, Absinthe. I'll tell you what really happened that day. Listen to Martek the Exiled's version of the story. Well, I get a knife. Cool. Straight. The day that Deathrite King blood rained from the skies. I believe I was showing my motorcycle to some fans of mine at the time. After Deathwing appeared, they became quite frightened. But I only had room to rescue one of them. Choose an admirer to save. Look, admirer. Easy. Can a lady get a ride? Nope. Go forth, the victory. Alone be with you. Save me, Martek. I need you. Night up, admirer. A shot for life. Going my way. Human. Have a good one. And Blood Elf. Maladash, Going my way. I will always pick Farewell. the Blood Elf. <laughs> I'll never forget that magical summer we shared, Martin. I don't. What do they, what do they say? I'll never forget the magical summer we shared, Martin. Human says, I can die in peace knowing that my last few moments with Martin. Orc and Myra. I'll never forget that magical summer. I guess, you know, it's pretty much all the same. Alright. So, drive in the canyon. This button gives you speed. For no other reason, then, you can use it. You cannot... You cannot mess up this quest. Just so you know. You really can. There's no way to. It is all for fun. It is a total fun-based quest of silliness. When I reached the end of the canyon, I remembered my motorcycle could fly. That would have been helpful to know earlier. I flew up to the top I flew to the top pillar located just north of the canyon. During the fight, I share a tender moment with the strapping blood elf. Ooh. Hi. Hi. Look, Tar. <laughs> Deathwing, aspect of death. <laughs> Best Deathwing in a knife fight. Oh, yeah. At the top of the pillar, I saw Deathwing. The time for the ultimate confrontation had happened. Hey, stop it, Eldrin! This is my story! I'm gonna punch that dragon! Hey, guys, quit interrupting! Get to hear how I beat. Fine, you don't get to hear how I beat Deathwing in a knife fight. Your loss. Ah, I love this quest so much. What do you need? The day that Deathwing came, what really happened, low level. Go forth to victory. I can't believe those guys would interrupt me like that. My story was going so well, too. Anyway, anyhow, thanks for sticking around so long. It's nice to have someone new to talk to share tall tales with. I'm sure Lucien and Feldren feel the same way. You have any? You have any you'd like to share with us? Take the knife. Let's take the knife because I'm a rogue. Even though I can't use it. Be safe. Sorry about the interruption, Martek. You gotta admit, though, I made your story about fifty times better. Next drinks on me. So yeah, I I, Hi. I feel Say compelled hello. to do this every time. May your blades never um, because it, it's delightful. <laughs> anyway, where were we? Oh yes, genocide and uh, tampering with eggs and uh, messed up stuff. So after that, levity. Let's go back here.
just check something a little bit. That's some precious cargo you carry there, Absinthe. I'll take that egg out of your hands now. We need to get this egg incubated and hidden quickly. There are lots of angry dragons looking for this. It's good to see you again, by the way. In my haste to escape Lethio Ravine. I'll never get that right. Lethio Ravine. I forgot to tie up one loose end. Alexandra. She's free. And she surrounded the alarm around the Black Dragon flight. Half the flight is here in the Western Badlands, coming for this egg. I'll take care of hiding the egg. You're going to take care of some more troublesome dragons. And you'll have help. I paid off a couple of mercenaries to help you. You'll find them inside this inn. Speak with Amakar and you carry the balance. Okay. I know this is little buggy this part of it but hopefully I won't run into any issues so the equivalent of this is bad dogs um, there is there are dwarfs um, that fill this role on the lion side you're the goblin we've been waiting for it's about time you got here my legs could use a stretch come on boys Let's go kill us some black dragons. Yay, more genocide! Um, before we get too crazy, we're dragon killing. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about how to fight. I'm not, I can't do that. I'm not terribly, I'm not terribly strong or salvaged like these other two. But I've got a few tricks. At your command, I'll stun your enemies to keep them held, held still. I also make sure to keep a few potions around for tight spots. Why don't we practice fighting together, head out to the field, and you can see what it's like to fight with a real orc. Use Amakar's kidney shot and Amakar's pocket potion. But he's a rogue, basically. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. Um, oh, okay. These also have quests. It's fine. Pretty big. So let's just assume he's a tank. I make sure my two paladiers don't get in too much trouble. They're small, but they don't have a big shield like me. I'm big. <laughs> and they can handle a few monsters hitting me. Plus careful i can usually get them to hit my shield instead hey he can taunt i can protect you too come on let's go practice for a bit i'll make sure the enemy is attacking not you i mean he's level 30 i'm level 60 but sure um except and then one more who i'm gonna guess might be a healer or oh you want to talk fine i'm Drex, the only merc here with half a brain the only one with any bite to my attacks, too. Oh, maybe not. Be disc. Um, the only reason I keep myself, keep these meat shields around is to keep myself from getting killed. Listen, you're the boss of this operation. You give the word, and I'll send a fireball at your mage right through your target's heart. If things get start getting hectic, I can even warp time a bit to can fit in a few extra attacks. Why don't we go try fighting together? So, mage. Fire mage. Let's go take them out for a spin. Where do I have to fight things? Just anywhere, I guess. I just need to find something to hit. Or I could maybe take them up here. There were some bogeys. I'm ignoring you, Gorn. Wait. Their attacks are not there. You're supposed to get something that tells you. And I don't know where they where you're supposed to take them to. Well, you can sign head out into the field. Head out into the field, sure. Head out to the field. 
head out into the field. Alright, I may have to look up this part of it because I'm not sure there's no place to go for this. Oh, okay. They're, they're doing stuff. Oh, here they're, here they're, okay. Alright. Uh, kidney shot. Potion. Warp time. Shield wall. Mighty shot. Did I get them all? Oh god, now they're going crazy. And I'm skinning them because it's a little war crime between friends. Did I get everything? Yay, more, more dead baby dragons. Awesome. Okay, let us head back. I think we got that. So much bloodshed, so much killing. I'm clearly not in the part of town I need to be in. Okay, here we go. So basically, I just have to get them to act. I just have to well, hear the attacks. You have to, you have to use all of them. Drink. What do you want? See, no need to worry. Okay. And the last one. Or the horn. All right. The wrath of a dragon flight. I don't even know. Well, no, they did. By this point, they knew what they were going to name him. Because Bangs of the Father isn't Kata. So. It looks like you four have had time to become well acquainted. I have my first assignment for you. Kaloran, an ancient black dragon of considerable power, has joined in the hunt for the egg we are protecting. We need to stop him before he gets too close. We will find him and his minions at the Dust Bowl, east of New Cardia. Hunt him down and defeat him. You'll likely need the help of your new mercenary allies. <laughs> sure. Sure, I'll need their help. Then Calorin the Annihilator by four Dark Flight soldiers. I accept. Yay! More genocide for us! This is going to be a long stream. I, I'm, let me actually get to the boss, the main one first, and then... Where is he? He's the big flappy one. There he goes. The big flappy one. I suppose the little flappy ones. We don't want the little flappy ones. Alright, step in. Thanks for helping me, guys. And I can skin him. I'm, you know, and I'm just skinning because of how horrifying it is. It really is because it's freaking horrifying. Um, oh, can I skin you too? Yeah, sure, why not? And it's just thick leather. It's not even, like, stuff I really need at this point. It's more just to get the full impact of how awful this is. We need to get closer. Thankfully, only four. Thanks for helping you guys. I don't know what I would do without your help. At, at level, this is actually a challenge. I, I joke, but I have done this at level at least a couple of times. The Wrath Dragonflight.
one last dragon to worry about, one step closer to redemption. Onward, my soldiers. The black dragon flight means... <sighs> really? I was reading that. Um... Forced a new target. These troops are under the command of. Okay, so I have to kill these. I wish I had gotten to read the rest of that message before it was accepted automatically because I got attacked. But well, we'll make do. And I'm gonna skin you because my moral compass is off kilter. Hi. Hi. Sorry. One down. And skinned. Thanks, guys. Thanks for all the hard work you're putting in. Is this my special skinning knife work? Not effective of creatures of I could actually use my special skinning knife. Just wrong. Loot. Yep. It allows me to skin at a distance. That is from Warlords. Which was useful in, in dungeons where people like running through really quickly to be able to like I, I need I need the leather and things in here and you're moving too fast. And then we'll just take a shortcut. Still gonna kill these guys. Dragon scale. Hmm. Crafting region. Got many of those. I haven't spent much time. Oh, I guess I gotta go to the top, huh? Or, ah! You do, as Alliance, have to go into this area, which means you've got hostile horde and you've got horse. So you have kind of have to find a way around that's not quite so. Oh, should we, like, be total roguey? They're not. Why not? Let's see if we can pickpocket. I can sap. It's got no pockets. And he's dead. And we can skin him. Sorry. Alright. Two more dangerous black dragons have been removed from this egg hunt. Your greatest test, however, still awaits... My greatest regret is the treatment that we know I gave Nixandra. I forced her to lay eggs, then I performed experiments on them over and over and over again. Even as a mother myself, I can only imagine her sorrow. No, I mustn't be weak. Our work is, after all, for the benefit of the future generations of black dragons. Her sacrifice was necessary. She circles in the she circles the ruins of Kargap, northwest of New Kargap, insane with fury. Please, heroes, put her out of her misery. Snay Alexandra and twelve and Alexandra's broodlings. We have to go kill his mom. Because you know it wasn't bad enough already. Let, let, let's go kill his mom. Him? Oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know who I'm talking about. Who could I be referring to? Well, let's let's go kill his mom now. Well, let's all kill his siblings. His whole family. His remains of his family. Let's just let's just skin them too. Why not? Why care? Too far 
away. Yeah, I'm kind of saving killing his killing Nixandra last. Why? Take care of the rest of baby dragons. This, by the way, I do remember this at level was a pain in the ass. These bastards were tough. To get closer. And you could aggro Nixandra at any first. point, and she's, she was tough. Like, there was a point to these three dudes. Because you were not overleveled. Like, one hitting, one shotting everything. And they hurt. I do remember having to res a couple of times. I think that may have been one of my mages, too. I don't have a target. Um, like, I remember running, dying and having to come back. So, yeah, this was not easy. Um, because of how close the mobs are. I need to target something Excuse first. me. The baby dragons you are once again slaughtering. Though we know for a fact that these baby dragons are part of Nix Nixandra's brood. And if they're part of Nixandra's brood, well, we know who they're related to. Or do we know yet? Have you guessed? Have you guessed what we're what we're doing here? I'm out of range. Why'd she have to land over there? Nixandra. Let's read this. Just think, Nixandra may end up being the mother of the new black dragon fight. In death, she was given she has given a gift to the future generations of Azeroth. I mean, there is technically another black dragon in Outland. <laughs> Let us not forget about him. He might show up one day. With the major black dragon, oh, and, and one in High Mountain. I don't know, he may, he may show up one day. With the major black dragons out of the Badlands, it's now safe to move the egg again. You will find me on a small plateau north, 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 north of New Cargath. Come and find me. Accept. Save that. And let's just target sight in the line of sight. May I, maybe I should be forbidden from skinning his mom, huh? Or I just use my, or I just use the skinning knife, cause why not? Alexander, my kin won't forget what you've done. We will rage, mortals. Not after this expansion, you won't. Hold on. Greetings. The egg must always be moving. We are not safe anywhere. Deathwing, even in his madness, knows all the hidden places of this world. The egg must not rest. Wait here. I'll retrieve the egg. Wait as Raya retrieves the egg from the hidden clutch.
Imagine if that was voice acted. That would have been awesome. Um, thankfully, you have avoided Deathwing's notice. Right with the Black Dragon egg, however, may not have been so lucky. The coast is clear. Freystraza or the egg were able to miraculously evade Deathwing's flames. They would probably need your assistance as soon as possible. Search for Rayestraza. Glad this bush was here! Yikes. Put a little picture on the wall, but okay. Heroes. If you are reading this, then my suspicions are co were correct. Deathwing has found us. The egg is destroyed, as am I. This was actually this was actually the plan. This was actually the plan from the beginning. You see, the egg that Deathwing destroyed was not the egg he sought. It was mine. A tall one. You're not the only mortal that Rhea's trust will confide in. I too earned the dragon's trust. I have already moved the real purified egg onto a safer location, away from the badlands. It will continue to grow out of Deathwing's sight. The red dragon blood is as benevolent as it is powerful. It was Rhea's trust's final wish that I give this to you. I have a leveled up version of Rhea's last egg. That makes it slightly less painful, I guess. And this is where this quest ends. Um, just to show you, I've never, I've never, I don't think I've ever gotten a leveled up version of it, but. I mean, it's useless now as a, or maybe not. It might actually be item level 85. It's actually better than what I had on. Or not. It doesn't have an agility boost, but I really, most of my, most, it's higher level than anything I have on. I, can you tell I have not really worked on this character very much? But anyway, since I have it equipped, Rayish child. Yep. Hi. It's Rayish child. Her last egg. And despawn it despawns in a little bit, but yeah. Anywho, um, On to next. I don't think... And that's the end of that quest chain. That is... Making... The one and only that you know of... Corruption-free black dragon. That you know of. Unless, of course, you've been to Outlands, in which case you know... Spellion's there. With his brood, Blaze Fire Mountains, just hanging out. It's been like 10 years. Um, what I am going to do though, I'm just doing this to uncover the map. Um, Cause I hate spots that are not, I mean, I don't even know if this will do it, but okay, there we go. I wanted to make sure, I wanted to make sure I had it. Um, so we're here. I don't think I can get into the red dragon area. Welcome, friend. Or can I? I can get into to, to Twilight Highlands. So I am actually going to go to Twilight Highlands. 
I'm going to take a little pee break. You can watch me fly while I go to the bathroom. Flying over Twilight Highlands now, which became a new zone in Cataclysm, just past the um, Dragonlock Clan area. Oh, more Dragonlock Clan. 
go home. Mm -hmm. um, there's an interesting small quest in um, Ruby Life Bulls. There's two old orcs. One is um, Dragomal. Um, as you can see, they make use of my dragon parts. They also were responsible for um, capturing Alex Straza. And breeding her to make flights. Right now, we are using Black Dragon. Improvement? Did you kind of sort of join the horde? The new horde? The nice horde? Under Garrosh? At the time? But they're very... Very often in the spirit of classic horde. Here we go. The reason why I'm here is actually to grab a flight point and get my butt back to Ogamore. My point's not in here, but I'm just curious to see something. Suspicious infiltrator. This body has been very badly burned and nearly bitten in half. The red dragon flight may be guardians of all life and Astra, but clearly they are not to be crossed. Kinda looks a little like a rogue. Interesting. The question is, did this appear here before I got here? Haas probably is there and just goes unanswered. But what we're gonna do. Mostras. Let us spring into action. I mean, there is a fly point. That's what I'm mostly here to get. Okay, I just want to look at it. There's a reason for that. A very good reason for that. Oh, I've got some, some vermilion eggs. Oh, we can't open up the fly point. All right, so we can't do that. You have to go through the quest chain to do that. So the nearest is in the gullet, Twilight Highlands, is your nearest flight point. And then I want to do one more, well, let me go back to the gullet. If I'm right, the flight, the other flight point I, I will need coming soon. Ooh, Twilight Worm. I could steal some Twilights. Thanks for leaving these for me. Just skinning some dragons. Don't mind me. Skinning some dragons. <sighs> Let's stop being terrible. Get over my flight point. And see if we can uh, get another quest start. I which I will not. I will 
get to the point I need to get at for that quest, but I will not continue beyond it. So, I just want to make sure Bulwark is open. We need... Okay, Strombad. Strombad is open. Station. East Point Tower, Hillsborough. Okay, as long as these are open, that's fine. What we really need is to get back to Veldraken. Because where we need to go is actually Dalaran and Ice Crown. Is it? No! Oops. It's not where we need to go. I need to go to Caverns of Time. But I still need to be in a, a portal. They have a portal directly there, so that's what I'm going to do. All right. So we purified a black dragon egg. And now I'm going to set her up to do the next part of this. They're not connected, so you don't have to do one to do the other. Um, but it's nice to kind of do them in order because there is a continuation. You do find out what happened. Now, what I could have done, da Don, Don, I should, what I should have done, <laughs> was go to Ravenholt, um, but you do end up at, uh, so I should have done that, just to show you the difference, and I can do that on another chain, of what she would seem before she goes to this next part, but... The basement of Ravenholt just looks kind of normal at this point. About to do something that's going to change that. When my screen loads. So we need Caverns of Time, which is downstairs. Yes, it's downstairs. And then this will be the last thing I do, because I think, like, a five-hour stream is more than sufficient. Hopefully I can get something from this. Hoping to also download this so I have a copy of it and then I can edit it somewhat. But for now, can we take the shortcut? Yes, thank you. So, <clears throat> what I'm about to do start is a rogue-only quest available during Kata. If you're a rogue, if you know anything about this, you already know what I'm talking about. Um, I did not get it at level, because I did not have a guild. I could not find a guild. Um, I don't think there was LFR yet. I know I, I ran... It's Dragon Soul. I'm going into Dragon Soul. I know I ran Dragon Soul. Um, I had it, and I got it in... But I think that was on uh, that was on my uh, board. I did not get it for Arleia. So Arleia didn't get it, I think, until later. And she could get Fangs of the Father until... She didn't finish it until... The beginning of Warlords of Draenor. And... Because she had to solo... She had to solo a raid. And then she was only soloing the low-level version of that raid. So, like, 10-man. Normal. Um, because... While she was definitely overpowered... She wasn't overpowered enough to you know, do that. And there you have to go do it multiple times. And there are drops you have to get. For this, we're going to do it like Rage Finder Guardian. Oh, that's interesting. What brings you here? Take me to see to Wormrest Temple. Bring me to the moments preceding the fall of Deathwing. To access the raid, find your version of Dragon Soul directly without outside assistance. 
Yeah, I mean, that's mm-hmm. there was, there is a Raid Finder version. I think Raid Finder maybe was introduced then. I remember a weird version of Flex Raid, which may have been available at the time, but... Um, but it doesn't matter. She's high enough that she can do this solo. Very difficulty normal. 10 player. So we'll just keep it simple. So she does have to clear part of the raid to do this. So when you go in, if I'm right, hopefully it's not going to prove me wrong. If you go in, Wormrest Temple. So I always think it's a Wormrest Temple. It technically isn't Wormrest Temple. But there's Deathwing, Wormrest Temple. Possibly no storm mode. So when you go in, if I'm right, yep. Now, if you've done the Nosdormu part of Dragonflight, with, where you have to find Chromie, you have to go back in time, this area probably looks familiar. Hey, Deathway. Um, and that's because you go specifically to this area. Over there is Morchok. Morchok appears near the Obsidian Citadel. Um, he's part of the um, World Breaker faction that uh, that you get the snail mount from. <laughs> so they raise him back up. Um, and here's a whole bunch of red dragons. And Lord Dvrishtras, commander of Wormus Temple Defenses, who has a quest for you. This quest? You need something? We need to move quickly. Turgosa and her guard have fallen, leaving the Temple of Defenses. Deathwing's forces must never reach the Dragon Soul, or all is lost. The Worm Rest Accord will aid you in the assault. The siege must be broken. So, he still says that when you click on it. Proving your worth, on the other hand, is only available to rogues. Hello, Absinthe. You've earned a reputation among the flight as having, shall we say, nimble fingers. Rogue! Thief! We need someone of your skills for a matter of utmost delicacy. Before I reveal more, we need to know you're the right woman for the job. When the course of battle takes you to the Eye of Eternity, I need you to pickpocket Hagara the Stormbinder to retrieve a Cryptomancer's decoder ring. Are you up to the task? Pickpocket a Cryptomancer decoder ring from Hagara the Stormbinder at the Eye of Eternity within Dragon Soul, within the Dragon Soul raid encounter. You have to pickpocket a boss. Now, at level, especially any sort of, like, pick up any pug, no one was going to wait for you to do that. And I think, and I'm not 100% sure about this, I could be wrong, only one could do it. So if you had multiple rogues in that instance, only one would get the opportunity to actually pickpocket. Now, let me check something. Yeah, I'm going to sell some stuff. While I'm in here, which I can do. Grand Expedition Yak, one of my best investments. I have many lucky dudes. Do you like? I can sell all of this. Why am I holding on to it? This? We actually have Freya's egg uh, equipped because it's the best thing. I might get some better armor from here, but even so, it's just sad. Um. This armor I made to, uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna hold on to that. Alright. So, we're just gonna fanonize our ways through here, because we've got several to kill. Wormrest Accord, attack! have broken our defenses. You must 
Advance to the front. March up. It's pretty grim what's going on. Must be there. broken. Worm rest accord. Defend the last. Don't say. I'm also probably going to rake up some uh, achievements doing this. Oh my god. Really? Am I really going to start decking myself? No, he's not, she's not going to wear an axe. Fortify your positions within. She's going to wear, she is going to change the trinkets, I believe. I got an appearance. Well, this might be worth it. Alright, so we get to Worm Rest Temple. I forget the what the dragons do to help you. Um, I don't know. It's been a while since I've done this. What is this? Alright, this is... Jaragosa. She's not dead. She's alive, right? Yes. Thank you, sisters. I am renewed. The old gods have shown themselves. A tide of darkness sweeps from their gaping maws towards the temple. We must buy the aspects more time. The faceless so. generals, Zan Oz and Yorsaj, command the enemy legions from within the monstrosities you see on the horizon. You must strike them down if we are to survive long enough to end this. Take flight on the wings of my sisters. They will transport you as close as they dare. So, we have to fly into these big, giant, gaping maws of tentacles. Which you can kind of see. It doesn't matter which one you do first, honestly. I don't know why I'm, why I'm in stealth. But yeah, you gotta fly into these things. These are horrifying at the time. What, what's that about Nazov? Oh, there's a translation. Why don't I understand it? Is she still wearing the thing? Huh, Warlands. Once more shall the twisted flesh banners of Nazov chitter and howl above the fly blown corpses of this world. After millennia, we have returned. Which I guess is what this says. What was that about, Nassau? <laughs> what was that? And this would be a complicated battle. But not new. So yeah, you would have to clear the rest of the area. But not so much here. Not so much when you're the Soki. Um, defeat him at point zero eight seconds. Because I hesitated. Let's see if we could do a better than this. The general one. remains. You must make haste. I mean, it would take time to clear those areas. Do not get me wrong. Um, it would take a lot of time to clear those areas back then. And you had to. And if you were trying to get achievements, forget about it. Um, and this one in particular, there's an achievement that's such a pain to get involving. Yeah, that's how you say, die a thousand deaths. Um, our numbers are endless, our powers beyond reckoning. All who oppose the destroyer will die a thousand deaths. I guess... Pekwathi is destroyer. Is the destroyer Deathwing or is it Nazoth? I don't know. So there is there is um an achievement involving killing the colors of these a certain way. We're not even gonna bother about that, we're just gonna kill. Did I beat the oh really? Seriously? There. <laughs> Oops. Um, oh, Deathwing. 
Shulwa. That's Deathwing's name in, uh, in, uh, I think, Black Empires, I guess? Um, her faithful servant has failed you. How fast did I kill that? In zero, yay, I beat my last record. Boat of Darkness. I was like, I know I got more than that. Oh, I got another appearance. Scalpel of Unrelenting Agony. Any of this stuff better than what I'm wearing? Probably. Use. Create a class set item appropriate for your loot specialization. Oh, look at that. None of this dropped for Arleia, and she ran this like a million times. Um... That you could learn grazing points. Let's see. That's not an upgrade. That's not an upgrade. Binds when equipped. Oh! Okay. I can give that to someone else. So let's actually make a little pile of things we can mail. She can actually do that. Sell, sell. Sell, 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 sell. Hand of Morcha. Well, it's kind of cool that she's getting like appearances. That that's cool. I'm getting mods. I will take mods. I will always take mods. Now this next one. The flow of darkness abates. It seems you truly are the heroes of legend. The aspects have already gathered and await your arrival. Go now. They're highlighted so you can see which one they go to. Um, that the straw is defense upon the summit. So, if I'm right, this will take you to the top. Worm Red Summit, obviously. Um... Where Caligos, oh, sorry, Aspect Worker, so Caligos is there. We'll see what model he's using. He may be using the old model. I think, actually, no, I think when I did this fairly recently. And they had no updated their models. The power of the dragon soul is too great. I cannot wield it safely. Raging forces within it may be the doom of us all. Then truly, we are lost. Not necessarily. I believe... Yes. It just might work. Get your voice actor. The focusing iris within the Eye of Eternity may allow us to converge the magical matrix contained within the Dragon Soul. Yes. We can finally turn Deathwing's own power back against him. I sense danger. It is a trap, carefully laid for us at this crucial moment. Different voice actor. No, Dormer, you're not going to say anything? We have no choice. <laughs> we must have faith in our ally. Then I will open the way into the Eye of Eternity. You must not fail. The future of Azeroth hinges on your actions. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> definitely a different voice actor. He's not sitting there going, like, I hope there's no spiders, um, which is what he says in the Rescue Afraid. <laughs> He's afraid of spiders. I don't know what it is about dragons and spiders between Rathian making you kill a spider in the basement and, and Caligus complaining about spiders to... Uh, to Kepgar. So poor Sarah does not get a model upgrade. She wears the uncomfortable uncomfortable to look at panties. Panties. Hey, Deathwing. Um, Alex Straza got her upgrade. She's, she's wearing the current, she's the current model. Same voice actress. Actor. Um, Callie got his thralls, thrall. 
and Nazi is the current model, but I see you have a part to play in this. Voice actor is the current one though. There is only one true timeline. I have seen your dreams. That is the current is Sarah voice act. So and that's El you know, Strauss is fine. Speak freely, friend. And that is Kelly's current voice actor. So f for the whole RP part part, um, it's not. It's the original voices. But currently with the models and everything, just curious about that. So this takes me back to Wormrest Base. We need to go to the Eye of Eternity. Which is where you fight Malaghost. You may recognize it. To start that battle, there's a thing in the middle. To start this battle, there's a thing in the middle. But... We need... He cracked the platform and you were flying. And now it's not cracked anymore. And I don't know. It's the Eye of Eternity. It's magical. So, I think think for this you just have to you have to kill the waves of enemies here. I'm gonna go with this. Uh, enemies are gonna come out. She doesn't come down. She's the one you gotta pickpocket. It's a trap. Oh no. All right, this is the one with the the one over there. So, seven HP. I just need her to land. She's the one I need, but this is not the one I'm pickpocketing, right? No pockets to pick. That is your hit. You like. you you so, you have to pickpocket her. Damn it. She dropped something. It's probably useless crap. But, so you got to pickpocket her. Oh! <laughs> I have a thing turned on that turns me into the person I pickpocketed. So there she looks like that. Bye bye. <laughs> so I pickpocketed. Does it even show my inventory? Cryptomancer Dakota Ring. Pilfered from the Eye of Eternity. There's almost no point continuing it at this point because you have to go back in and do a grind. Um, we're not doing the grind. We're gonna leave now. Um, but I think I have to, I think I have to go back to, what's his face? Not here. <laughs> I'm... T Where'd they go? I'm sorry, did I frighten you because I look like the boss? I'm so sorry. It, it's a thing I got. It's... It's a glyph. It's not really her. Oh, no. Okay. Anyway, we're going back to the... Let me take that off. I don't know where they went. They left the dragon soul here. Was that a good idea? The flow of darkness abates. It seems you truly are the heroes of legend. The okay. aspects have already gathered and await your arrival. Go now. Yeah, I'll get there. But first, I need to talk to my friend here. Hey there. Hey there. Proving your worth will level. For the Alliance. Have you completed our task? These artifacts are crafted such they dissolve if the bearer is killed, so only a skilled thief can acquire them. So, yeah, you have to, you have to, 
pickpocket it. I'm a boss. There's a few bosses you can pickpocket, but this one, none quite start a chain like this does. So, continue. Have a good one. You found one. Your credit to your razor. Thank you. Rings like this are capable of decoding even the most complicated ciphers. Unfortunately, the ring is inert until it is charged. See you later. First straws are currently stationed in the Highlands. We were there. I tried to open up that flight point. Um, has intercepted a coded message of grave importance. I'll let her explain the full situation, but we need your expertise to unravel the cipher. Take your decoder ring to an ethereal thermitage in your capital city. He should know how to charge it. Acquire the encoded cipher from Korstraza and use the ring to decode it for her. Hurry, time is ticking. Charge your Cryptomaster decoder ring and use it to decode Korstraza's singed cipher. Except Now, there it is. All right. We are gonna, is there a shorter path I can take? Out of here. Um, I can take this Dalaran. I don't know if this is shorter or not, but we'll see. You have to check the ring charged. That's something that takes like 12, 24 hours. So really can't go further with this quest today. But I did want to at least get the ring and go do that part. I will pick this up at a later date. Um, let me just make sure I have enough gold on me. This is a long stream. But it will wrap up before it's five hours. Just barely. Which I apologize. Anyone who has watched this long, thank you. Hoping to download this and cut it up into two segments, ultimately. Windrunner Sanctuary. I like how the Forsaken still say victory for Sylvanas. Um, <laughs> but, you know, what can you do? I wish the cloak quest was still available because for the story more than anything else because it's, it's, it's interesting um, it's long it's annoying but it's interesting but there were too many elements in the game I guess a death knight has arrived um, there were too many elements in the game that no longer exists like um, Valor in Pandaria is not Valor today, and there was a point where you had to collect about, like, a lot of things would have need to be rewritten, redone, but I think they could have kept some element of the Cloak Quest in, because I think it's an interesting bit of history, and a, a quite a bit of character development for certain characters. Um, and you do see some of it, and I'm, I'm going to try to run Absinthe through some of Pandaria. Uh to see what is available, but I have to look and see like what quest chain she needs to go through to probably see that. Now I think one of these folks, ah, there we go. Let me check something first, because if I'm right, does she have enough gold? She does have enough gold, barely. This is why, this is the another annoying thing about this quest. Can you charge my Cryptomancer decoder? <laughs> I see. Involved in some shady business, Goblin. Oh, no need to worry. The confidentiality of all transactions is assured. I don't know. I'm not sure why I'm using that voice, but let's stick with it. This ring you have is a superb piece of work. We can begin the charging process for a modest fee. Charging? will take roughly one half of your world cycles to complete 12 hours. In other words, 12 hours. <laughs> Shall we say 10,000 gold? That's fair. 
pay the 10,000 gold. 10,000 outrageous. I'll kill you while you sleep. Okay, listen. This was during Kata. 10,000 gold was a lot. It's a lot when you're starting, even now. But, I mean, you can get 10,000 gold in Dragonfly easily. Um, far more easily than you can in Kata, where 10,000 gold was a real amount. It took a while to get that. I don't think Arlea had it right off the bat either. So, yeah, it's a lot of gold. Um, so that was definitely a hindrance to completing this quest. But we'll, we'll start with this. We'll do this first. Well, then. It is good that I no longer sleep. Worth it. Worth it. Okay, let's go back. Uh, pay the 10,000 gold. Are you sure you want to pay? Not really, but let's do it. Very good, Goblin. Remember, your ring will not reach its full charge in many hours. Alright. And you can actually... I think you can see the... Uh, a subtle glow indicates that the ring is powering up. So you can check the status. Um, what I am going to do is... I'm hoping Twilight Highlands, that portal is open. I opened that for her. I don't know how far else she got in Kata. Um, but she may have gotten as far as to open up the portal to the Highlands. The Twilight Highlands. Am I going the right way? She opened it to the portal to the Twilight Highlands. Did she? Did she? Did she? Yes, yes, yes! Um, she opened up Deep Home. Twilight Highlands. Thank God. So. I think it's they open up at a certain level. So if like, you're above the level of the expansion, otherwise you have to go through the whole thing. Um... I was grab the flat fight. I can't help you, Rogue. Warchef Morgan <laughs> have me executed if I allowed the horde to use one of our wind riders. Okay. She didn't complete the quest of claiming this area, so I can't even open up the flight point. Fine. Look, they drape their walls in black dragon skin. In uh, Warcraft 2, they use red dragon skin. Strength. It's just, it's just not good. Anyway. There's a whole quest line when you come into here making making uh, alliances with the dragon walk line. I'm just show just, just, you, you know, totally normal. Totally not in any way effed up. Just totally not effed up. Just add one with a little tongue hanging out here. You know. Ah, <sighs> God. Anyway. Onward. I can't do anything now because the charge ring is charging, but maybe the flight point's open now. In which case, I will just put her in position to turn in the quest when the 12 hours are up. She'll be there already. And yeah, I mean, that is, that's the beginning of things, the father. That's Rhea's egg. She has equipped. It's going to be interesting. Um, and the beginning of things of the father. I have a friend who wants to do it. Um, I'm actually going to walk her through Dragon Soul the first time with Arleia to steal it. She doesn't quite play as much as I do, so... It's going to be super casual grind, if anything. But, basically, you're going to have to grind Dragon Soul. And there's a whole bunch of little extra side quests, but you're going to have to grind Dragon Soul. Like, really grind Dragon Soul. <laughs> but it's super roguey. It's a really cool rogue-centric quest. Quest. Um, quest. Quest. Um, yeah.
Can I at least open the flight point, maybe? Maybe? Have, perhaps? Possibly? It's such a weird spot. Can I open it? Can I open it? You're not, you're not a flight point. You're a flight point. Nope. Not yet. Cool. Cool. It's funny, those red, red, red dragon eggs are not... Are not really red. They're more. They're more orange. There are vermilion. Well met. But here, and you do get this. This changes. Um, a hidden message. Low levels. You can't. You can't do anything about that yet. Lost. Stolen. This is a terrible blow. Terrible. What happened here? What was stolen? Are you familiar with the late dragon Ray Estraza? I might be. Don't look too closely at my trinkets. A little bit off that one. She often lurked about the Badlands in the form of a mortal goblin. Hey, so strange about that. Uh, Maria Shaza came up with a scheme to steal and purify a black dragon egg, severing its tie with the black dragonflight and the corrupted earth water. Deathwing. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> of course I helped her back when I was in the Badlands a couple hours ago <sighs> Kurstrasa does a double take you you helped Rhea Straza and lived to tell about it I underestimate you goblin to wonder lord lord Afrasha sent you to me Afrasha a frost of straws. Um, no doubt you remember what happened next. Ray Strauss was killed by death. But yeah, it just happened a couple hours ago. But thanks to her sacrifice, a single purified black dragon egg was secreted away and hidden. What happened to the egg? That's why you're here, Epson. The egg you was hidden here at the Vermilion Redoubt days ago. Days ago? Okay, days ago. It disappeared. Whoever did it was able to elude our sharpest guards. One of the thieves was killed during the abduction, although now I believe he may have been a diversion. The egg was simply, was simply gone. On his corpse, we found this note. It remains our only clue, but it is written in a dense code, and it must be deciphered. I'm your woman. Give me the coded message. Light bless you. Here's what left of the message we found, Epson. Can you make any sense of it? Not yet. I can in 12 hours, though. So, timeline. It did not happen in a matter of hours between um, cleansing the egg and it being stolen. Um, it... I forget the exact timeline, but it's it's supposedly around six months since the egg was cleansed. I, this, I think, Wowhead has information on it. It's mentioned somewhere. Um, there's a whole... <laughs> History of my life, narrated by Rathian, uh, about the whole things of the Father Quest line, which you can look up on what I had as well. Um, but I think it's about six months since you cleanse the egg, and then a few days before this, um, it's stolen. And I told you, this guy meant this guy meant something. So you can't talk you to her. Something? What happened here? What was stolen? So you could talk to her again about it. Um, Be careful. But yeah, so she gives you the message to code, but you can't decode it because you're waiting for the ring, which has 12 hours to charge. So we're going to leave Absinthe here, ready to fulfill the next phase of our quest. She's going to sit here and chill. Might wait for um, my friend. I will have to touch base with her. She's at this point now. Uh, to see if she might want to go for Fangs of the Father. It's a long-ass thing. Um, but it would be easier to kind of double up and have someone else on the same quest line. Because I think you can, if you have two rogues on the same quest at the same point, they can both do it together. You can group together for the scenarios. There's a group of scenarios where you have to be super stealthy and sneaky. 
Um, so she may be good for that anyway. So that is the start of Fangs of the Father. I will go outside and sell some stuff. Um, though, oh, it's so close, I should check it out. I really wish this fly point was open. Um, make some of my 10,000 back. Not too bad, not a bad haul. Because I could fly to how far away is it? <sighs> Honestly, not too far, but I don't have it. There's no flight points between. So, um, well, let's see. See, this is where I, this is one of those situations where I reach a dragon line was available. One of my cats wants to be fed. Or rather, he found a toy. Or rather, he didn't find a toy. Rather, he stole. This is one of those. I'm going to point in a direction and click and go. So, where I'm going actually is what would be next in this quest chain. But since I haven't deciphered the note yet, nothing should have changed in that location. So, I want to show it before we visit it as part of the quest chain. There are no horde flight points up here. So, showing it now. What's this? This must be. Oh, she's in the Rathy. Okay. You have the option to uh, switch back to pre BFA Arathi. Clyde is meowing. You realize it's dinner time and I haven't given you dinner yet? I will give you dinner soon. I promise, baby. Or did you lose your toy? Which is it? Which is it you're trying to figure out? Toy or dinner? Probably both. What is this? Arathi, camera pause. Yeah, it's the toy. <laughs> He's excited about the toy. The toy, mind you, is a little pull tab on half and half. This is what he's excited about. Okay, good, actually. Oh, that didn't take too long at all. That did not take too long at all. I thought that was going to take longer. I mean, it does require some manual flying to get there, but... Now, I don't think she's ever actually been to Ravenholt. Actually, to the point of where I go, are they hostile? <laughs> but I don't think she's actually been to Ravenholt in this game. They do not have a flight point, so she's going to have to... Thankfully, this area is... owned by the Horde. I mean, thankfully for her, unfortunately, not so, not so great for Alliance, considering what happened to South Shore. Um, which, yeah, little side note. For those who are like... Sylvanas getting bad was out of the blue nonsense. She plagued the hell out of South Shore. So, there were no surprises there. So yeah, so Ravenholt, you come up through here. Um, she didn't apparently open up the area. You come in, you have to come through this cave. Now, no one here is hostile, so that's number one. They're not friendly, but they're not hostile, and you can't have talked to them. Assassins leave. Greetings. We have a whole new assassins. Brash. See you later. Well, doesn't like Brash. Look at how they're dressed, though. Looks similar to the guy that was, uh... Poorly aligned. 
in that area, doesn't don't they? They're dressed very similar. Little black face mask, all black. I'm just gonna walk right in. No big. Um, just a table with plants on it. Oh, no big. Here's with Stone Wolf. The Wolf. He takes the, the lock boxes if you're, when you're trying to build up Ravenhold Rip. Salome is a cat who does like you. Um, assassin, poison supplies, which you don't need anymore. We're going upstairs first because we want to see Lord Jorak. Hi, Lord Jorak. We won't even talk to you. No one even talk to you. God, he, he runs around. He's happy when you find stuff. We're going to look at Farad. Remember Farad. He's going to be important soon. He's a Grandmaster of Oak. Mm. Enter the Proving Grounds. You can actually enter the Proving Grounds with him. Light bless you. Which, mind you, the Proving Grounds, story-wise, come after Kata. But let's see. What's in the basement? Currently, what's in the basement? Wait, what? <laughs> Pretend you didn't see that. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that. I mean, I think if it had, it, it can't possibly trigger now. All right, interesting, right? Um, that wouldn't have been there. I think before the Badlands quest, or before I pickpocketed that, right? It would be very different in that basement. Um. I think we need to take the shortcut again. So, yeah, I wasn't expecting that to be in the basement. Pretend you didn't see it. Spoiler. Um, God. I don't want to log into another character to show you what it would have shown like before that. But it was a whole, whole different area. There was um, other characters in there, other folks going on. So that must get triggered by not the Badlands quest. I don't think it gets triggered by that. I think it gets triggered by stealing the decoder. Entering that quest chain. Is what I think does it. I don't know that for sure. Um, but what I might do is find a character that has. I feel like I need to confirm this. I'm so sorry. Um, and I'm trying to think. No one else could have done it that's a rogue. So I need to find someone who isn't a rogue. Who can get to Ravenholt. Relatively quickly. It's probably going to be a mage. Or maybe not. Because of the area. Dang it. Alright. So I may just hop on uh, my mage. I don't know if she's done Freya's last egg. I'm gonna have to check that. So here, let me see. I, I think it's, yeah. Now it's true. Yeah, true. So I know she's done it because I literally just did it. Um, But I need to find another character that's done Rhea's last egg. I just want to see if it's still on my clipboard. But I'm going to position no. Yes, that was right. Um, that's done it. And then get her into that basement. I wonder who has done it. And there's an add-on that lets you see who's done what quests, but I can actually. Um, yeah. Honestly, Matore would have. 
I think Matoria's done it. And she is not a rogue. I'm just wondering what triggers that change in the basement of Ravenholt. Is it Rhea's egg or is it stealing the decoder? So now I kind of wish I went there before I did Dragon Soul. But I'm just going to put her in place to pick up that. All the cats are like, it's feeding time. It's like, it's okay, you're not going to starve. You're going to get fed, and you're going to get fed well. It's all going to be all right. All right. Yeah, you open up this area um, as part of, like, the Cataquest chain. You eventually do get access to the, the fight. It's the, the quest chain that basically leads up to... Um, uh, Grimbatol. Doing Grimbatol. Yep, see, look. Look at how he looks. That is that is a Ravenhold dude. So. I'm gonna put this... I'm gonna... Put my bee back soon. On for a bit. While I scroll through different characters. Uh, so you don't have to watch me go through this process. And then I'll be back, and hopefully when I find one... That has done Freya's last egg. And Freyna is my dwarf this night, who's in Western Plagueland. So she's close enough. So I am going to bring. Well, we got some WoW Classic today, apparently. Um, we're going to do just to show. See some exciting loading screen action. Right. Apparently, this is where she left off with. Oh god, she doesn't have fly. All right. <laughs> oh god, all stuff. I don't know what to do. Does she at least have writing? Does she have a mount? Yes. Oh thank God. Yeah, she can at least ride. So this is gonna be a long trip, my friends. Long trip. But thankfully, hopefully not too far. I think... Don't make me kill anything. I don't want to get into fights. I mean, it's level 52, so it's not so bad. I'd rather not deal with them if I don't have to. It's going to be a bit of a ride. I forget if there is... Flight point next to Ravenhold Manor. That's closer. I mean, at that point, Alliance still held a lot of it, so maybe. Flight point's in the same spot as it. Build you bass feather rizzle. Show me where to fly. Oh god. I can't even read this. Airy Pink Hinterlands. Refugee, refuge Point Arathi. South Shore. I think Airy Peak is the closest. So. Well, it's gonna be faster than me riding. But still gonna be a ride. So, yeah, there is no quest tracker in Classic. So, this is an add on called Questy, which has been very useful. The Blight Caller uncovered. Yeah, this is, um, that's the Blight Caller you think it is. That's Nathanos. I mean, it's fun to occasionally go into Classic and replay some of these old things over again. Because, I mean, a lot of them were still active when I started playing during Lich King. Um, Pre-Cata, a lot of 
these older quests were not changed. Um, I think White Collar was part of Lich King. I don't know. I came in at the very end of Lich King. Oh god, I forgot it's all the way up here. That's loud. I don't even know if it's being recorded. Um, it's the fastest route down. Okay, I have to go down this way. Sorry. My apologies. Apologies. And I always have to kind of do a mental check to remember. Hello, other person playing classic. I always have to do a mental check to remember that I don't have access to all my stuff that I would have in retail. So I can't just summon any old mount. It, this is my mount. I do have it like key bound, very similarly. So as close as possible as I can under the circumstances. But there's some weird things here. Find treasure. I'm not even sure what that does. I think it highlights treasure chests on the map, maybe? Hi, Spider. How you doing? Hi, Griffin. How you doing? Dern Hold Keep. Alright. Taran Mill. It's up this way. Sorry, Bear. Just ignore me. They're all low enough level that they're not going to bother me. So... I just need to find where the entrance road to Ravenholt is, and then I can show you all that fun stuff. <laughs> it's much easier to find it by, by flying than it is to... I think this is your, your clue. Is, this, is that an open grave? Yep. Right. Just kind of have to hug these until you see a path rough a sort of path up there we go this should be it there's no sign there's no other indication these are rogues after all they are assassins they don't want to be found here's a cave this is how it used to look um oh i can talk to him hi ravenhold guard ravenhold mana does not recognize you death knight okay that's cool it's all good you used to have to sneak sneak through here danger do not open move along yeah when you would bring your rogue in here for the first time and i don't even think that's in game anymore but there was a whole quest to sneak in here as a rogue i think and you had to open the chest i forget exactly what it was but and yet there is a repeatable quest over here Ravenlax. watch your back stranger you seem to be helpful while at the same time being threatened. Their their armor got was updated, but basically the same color scheme. Basic uh Be careful. Oh, probably. Let's see. Let's go. Here's Ravenholtz. I think he's still around. He's still around. Oh no, he's not a wooden chair. He is Winston Woof. But he doesn't take the chest. That is actually. There's Lord Jarek. He won't talk to you. And over here should be. He was in a different spot before. Is, uh. Farad. Um. Who's looking for junk boxes? So he used to collect your junk boxes. But you can only get junk boxes by pickpocketing. Or if someone put them on on the uh, the auction house. Is there an auction house in the I don't even remember? Anyway, here's what the basement looked like in classic, pre cata So this would have been Lich King too. Oh, well that's different. Amusingly, these lights are still here. So they're still here. Nothing changed. So now there's a pile of straw here with an empty egg. But back then, there was this dude who would sell poisons because you used to have to buy poison to apply them. This cat. 
Smudge Thunderwood. And this dude, Zap Shiv Sprocket, Speciality Engineer. Can I help you? Who sells engineering stuff. And that's it. That's what was there back then. You have a great day now. This is how Ravenhold Manor's basement used to look. Pre-Kata. Um, and I don't know if it changes with level or that's just how it's set now post-Kata. Where the egg is here and that's it. And if you go down there and you don't know the storyline, you haven't done any of that, you go, well, that's interesting. There's a single solitary broken black egg down here. What could that be? Anyway. Oh, remember when you used to have to carry your keys separately? Your key ring only had four slots? <sighs> really? I, I, you know, classic has its charm, but classic has a lot of things that just I could do without. Anyway, that is going to be the end of this stream.